Hello everyone, Taki here. This video is slightly different from the ones that I typically make because I want to talk about some of the changes that we're going to see in the handheld space in the next few months with the introduction of Tiger Lake handhelds. As it currently stands, we have at least four different Tiger Lake handhelds that will be released over the course of the next year, in addition to at least two other AMD handhelds of comparable performance. I am currently testing out one of the first Tiger Lake devices to release and I will have a full review of it on this channel in the next week or so with a bunch of other performance tests on my second channel. The topic of this video is broadly about that device, but more specifically about how Tiger Lake is going to completely change what was previously possible in the handheld space. If you rewind a few months back with the release of the GPD Win Max, we had a device at a competitive price that gave a pretty substantial jump in performance over the Intel chips that were available before it due in part to the inclusion of a decent GPU. The Win Max opened up more doors for gamers that wanted to experience relatively current game releases with the added benefit of not requiring as much custom performance tweaks as its predecessor, the GPD Win 2. GBD also had the forethought to include a Thunderbolt port for eGPU support, extending the usefulness of the device, and bridging the gap while we patiently waited for a Tiger Lake release. The only negative about that chip, if there is any at all, is that it requires a decent TDP to perform well. Unfortunately, that's largely the case with Tiger Lake, but the performance jump over Ice Lake is very impressive. The device that I'm currently testing ships with an Intel i7 1160G7, and it will probably be the most expensive handheld to release in the next year by a sizable margin. The GX Pro is essentially the exact same device that I reviewed over the summer, with the only change being an upgrade to this Tiger Lake chip. That alone is a huge jump in performance when you take into account how weak the GX1 is compared to the WinMax, but it's also a huge jump in performance over the WinMax, and I assume the same will be true for all of the Tiger Lake chips that release this year, and that is a great thing for PC gamers. If you haven't checked out Tiger Lake performance videos yet, I think you'd be very surprised at how capable onboard graphics are in 2020. This jump in performance is visible in some high-end emulation scenarios, and I will be doing a dedicated video on that in the future, but the performance increase is mostly on the PC gaming front. The only disappointing thing for my test so far is that Tiger Lake doesn't really start to shine unless you increase the TDP over 20 watt. This is obviously going to mean that battery life will not be great in this generation. You can do a lot of gaming with older titles at lower TDP levels or more recent games if you want to do custom tweaks, but for the purposes of this video, I want to show what's possible by just increasing the TDP if the heatsink can support the added power. I've been having a blast on Tiger Lake so far and my Steam library definitely reflects that, so we are going to take a look at some of my favorite games so far. I'll put the annotations to the games down below along with information on the GX Pro. I recently bought this game to play in my free time on my GPD Win Max, and I've since completed Halo 1 and 2 of the Master Chief Collection, but I haven't done as much on the other games in this collection yet. For this game, I have the resolution set to 800p, and the graphic settings are on screen right now. As you can see from the metrics on screen, the TDP is set to 35 watt, which is the level that I'm currently testing, but 30 watt seems to be the sweet spot in terms of power and performance for these Tiger Lake chips. Beyond this, I have the fan on the GX set to its highest value, and I'm also running on battery, but the device does support 40 watt TDP with a charger cable plugged in. It's just gonna be sitting at a constant 100 Celsius while doing so. The next game that we're going to take a look at is Star Wars Battlefront. This is a rather old title, but the graphics still speak for themselves in 2020. I have the display resolution set to 800p, and the graphics settings are on screen now. I'm going to play through a quick level just to give you an idea of the performance. Just know that with bigger maps and more people on screen, you're probably going to see some dips in the FPS, but it's largely very solid. To be completely honest with you, if I could play only one PC game on a handheld, it would be Monster Hunter World, but this game takes a ton of power to run at full speed. 
This game is playable on other devices, but I really want to play the game at or near a solid 60 FPS with some semblance of graphical quality. We aren't quite there with Tiger Lake, but we are getting very close, and I really look forward to the day when this game can be played at full speed with the highest graphic settings on a gaming handheld. I currently have my display resolution set to 800p, and the graphic settings are on their lowest values. I could probably increase some things here and there, but I just want to have this as a clear baseline for comparison purposes later on. Doom Eternal is another game that I recently bought, it's also another game that can run really well on other hardware, but I still wanted to include it here because it's a great game. I have my display resolution set to 800p and my graphic settings are on screen now. And just to switch things up, I'm going to set my graphic settings to their lowest value so you can see the difference in performance. From the test that I've done so far, GTA 5 was one of those wow moments when I saw how far you could push things with Tiger Lake. I've done a lot of filming on this game so far at a bunch of different TDP levels, all the way up to 40 TDP, and this game runs great. For the video that you're watching now, I have the resolution set to 800p and the graphic settings are on screen now. I've already filmed a short video on Witcher 3 that I threw up on my second channel. You can find a link for it below along with an annotation on screen now. The game runs really well on Tiger Lake, but you do need to increase the TDP rather high to get this game at near full speed frame rates. You, Ms. Love. Destiny 2 is the most interesting title that I've tested so far because it's one that I've been waiting to play for the longest time on current generation hardware. If you know anything about this game, you know that it has some huge issues right now with Intel GPUs. I experienced the exact same issues that I had on Tiger Lake while I was filming my GPD Win Max video, but I just kept restarting the game over and over after it crashed in hopes that I'd be able to get it to start long enough to record footage. Over the course of an hour, I managed to get the game to boot twice, long enough to record it before it crashed, and the glimpse of what will hopefully be possible soon was amazing. The last game that we're going to take a look at on this PC gaming benchmark is Devil May Cry, and compared to the other titles on this list, this game is without a doubt one of the least demanding. In fact, you can get this game to run on pretty much anything as long as you're willing to mess around with display resolutions and other graphical tweaks. For the footage that you're watching now, I have the game set to 800p and the graphic settings are on screen now. Snake up. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the future of PC gaming with Tiger Lake. The device featured in this video and two other offerings from GBD will be on the market over the course of the next two months, so there will be no shortage of options for you to pick if you want to take part in this exciting time. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a video like this when I finally get my hands on one of the AMD handhelds that's about to wrap up production. If you want to find out more information about the GX Pro, I'll put links down in the description box below. If there's a game that you'd like to see tested on Tiger Lake or on AMD, feel free to leave those below so I can use that as an excuse to buy more PC games. Happy gaming everyone, Taki out.